Hi YouTube, what you can see here is part of a mainboard, an old computer mainboard, and those are three of the remaining SRAM, I guess, uh, first level cache, no, second level cache chips here. And let's say we want to solder out such a chip. It happens more often than, than not because, you know, sometimes either the chip is gone, you need a replacement, or you need to, to exchange it with another, well, part of the family. Or you just, yeah, the usual repair work that comes up. So I'm using a hot air station, a regulated hot air station, and I'm switching it on now, the gun. I use about 380 degrees. And what I'm doing now, as you can see, I hope you can see, okay. First one that I did, was also in the video, but I wasn't quite satisfied with the result. It went out. Um, the important thing is, do it only on the pads. Right? Don't go into areas right above the chip or something. And also, um, yeah, there is a even a tool. I don't know whether I can use it. No, I guess not for that chip. Looks a little like a fork. I just pushed the chip away later. I just Sometimes I try to push it away. It's this industry solder. It has a very high melting point. That's what I sometimes think. A good thing is, if you want to do stuff like this, um, you can preheat the board like the, by putting the whole board into an oven or something like that. Bring it up to about 100 degrees Celsius. It will make your job a lot easier. because the board is preheated and then you don't have to heat it up like that. Don't uh, turn the temperature up too high because it could scorch the board. Now it goes. It's coming off. I can see it. I can smell it. Yeah. And then you just push it away a little. Oh. Wait, 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 wait. Right. right, now I switch off the gun. And let's show you the chip. Um, this is the chip. One moment, please. So it focuses. Well, the camera doesn't like this. Well, let's just say the chip is alright. Sorry, I can't show you. Um, in a typical rework situation, you would probably normally now um, clean those pads using desoldering wire and additional flux. You can make those very uh, tight, shiny again, and then can solder in another chip, for example. Yeah, but this isn't what we want to do in this video. Um, you'll still have a hard time because those pads are already used, and this makes positioning the chip a little harder. <laughs> oh yeah, but yeah, still possible. Yeah. That's how you use a hot air station to unsold the chips. The funny thing, one more, is um, this is an SRAM, and I had really, really had to look up the data sheet in order to know even what it is exactly. But here, on the population print layer, it says 32k times 32. So I know know what kind of an SRAM this chip is. That's funny. Well, thanks for watching and. Uh, 
See you soon.